Welcome to the center of it all. I'm your interim host, Allison Luthman. Up first, the local 4-H club that claimed a world title. Center County is now home to the newest first robotics world champions, a fact that is still sinking in for members of the team. I never expected it to go that far. This is the first year we've won anything, any regionals. So um, world championships, <laughs> winning that as well, that was really, really weird. <laughs> I've never seen some of these people dance before and here they were dancing and it was, everybody looked so happy and I was happy that I could be a part of a group that did so well. The, we had these letters that had like LED lights. I had the four and we're all sitting in a row and we're like waving them up and down like this and like yelling and we won and all of us like jumped up with the letters and we're like screaming. The road to the championship was one that took many months of hard work, starting with the build season. The build season is specifically when we, uh, we design and build and finish the robot. Figuring out what drivetrain, how the robot's going to move, how fast we think it should move, how high we think it should go, and then all the way to actually building that and all the way to then testing it. That's all build season. The product of nearly a four month long build season is then put to the test in regional competitions where the team took first in Pittsburgh. The actual competition is where you move cubes around the field onto the scale and the switch. By getting ownership of the scale and the switch, you get a number of points per second and there's also a vault on either side of the field that you can put cubes into to get points and power-ups that can help you get more points. When all the scores are tallied up, whoever had ownership for the longest time essentially ends up winning the match. After regionals, the team traveled to Detroit for Worlds, where the suspense was on right up to the moment when the team learned they would now carry the title of world champions. As soon as the match finishes, like a, roughly a second after the buzzer, that scoreboard gets hidden. We were definitely really excited when they showed the actual scores. It was definitely really hyped up. There were lights, there was music, there was confetti. If a student is interested in robotics, mentors will work with them hands-on to teach them all of the necessary skills. We have a real diverse group coming in. So we have some students that have been tinkering with, like they got their first Lego robotics kit when they were uh, in third grade and they've been doing everything they could since then. Uh, but we've had other kids that come in with, with really no knowledge at all and they just, you know, they have an interest and, and want to know more. For many students, these new skills become new career possibilities. One of the big things I've learned is how to use well through this is computer assisted design and it's fun to use and it's really useful. I plan on probably majoring in like mechanical engineering or something related to that. Perhaps though, one of the biggest benefits from the club has been the value of friendships. It probably made it feel like even more of a big deal because we are like this family and then we all did this thing together. My role this season and well all of our roles was pretty much to help finish and build, assemble, in other words just good old teamwork. For more information on how to involve your child or become a sponsor, just head on over to center4hrobotics.org. Up next, we take a look at one of my favorite local restaurants. 